don't make it. It's pretty addictive. Hey ladies, most of the cowboys are single at the Cody Knight Rodeo. If I could get on a bull every day of my life, they'd probably be heaven. If he wants to follow my footsteps, God bless his little heart. We're down $9,000 right now. Don't seem like I fit in much of anywhere. Go get me a medic. This is a fight. Did you get that one off camera? Last time on Eyewitness, we've been riding with the Cody Knight Rodeo, the only nightly rodeo in the country. Everyone here is incredibly devoted, but that might not be enough to save the rodeo. We're down $9,000 right now. Tony Martolio, the rodeo clown, nearly broke his leg. Oh, Tony, get your feet out in front of you. Then he had a major scare when his son Josh fell off a steer. Is he okay? And after a week of nonstop rain, the rodeo shut down for the first time in 30 years. Its very existence is now in jeopardy. We hope it ends before a lot of people start coming. It's going to start hurting us more from now on if it doesn't stop raining. Now that the Cody Night Rodeo has been canceled for the first time in 30 years, problems are definitely mounting for Jim and Kathy Ivory, the couple who run the rodeo. It's a mess. A lot of mud. Even though the weather is clearing, the arena is still saturated with mud, and the Ivories are left helpless. Can, can you really afford being three, four days without the rodeo? We're trapped on this when it comes to it. We've got a national attraction here that's 90 nights of summer. Maybe what our options start with is postpone it tonight again and then decide what we're going to do with it. The rodeo being canceled for the last two nights has made it pretty tough on the Ivories because now for the rest of the season, they're basically going to be playing catch up. There's a lot of expenses and that's where missing the last few days, that's very critical to have a rodeo every day because there's expenses that have to be paid for whether we're going or not the expenses go on so it's important to keep going to learn how to keep a cowboy busy for hours turn cards <laughs> to learn how to keep a cowboy busy for hours turn cards <laughs> there you go micah play with that <laughs> After two nights of canceled shows and a huge repair effort, Jim is still racing against the clock in order to have the arena ready in time for the rodeo. We can get it all spread out evenly. It's going to be as good as we're going to get it, I guess. <laughs> What do you think? Uh, horses seem to like it. Jim let the animals loose to help stir up the new dirt. It's almost rodeo time, and the Ivories are doing everything they can to get the arena ready. The Ivories can't afford to cancel another rodeo because they've already lost too much money. We're down $9,000 right now. You just figured it out? We just have to do as much as we can to be as visible as we can. For many cowboys, tonight is the night that decides whether they pay their bills or go hungry in the morning. An old jukebox junkie spending my time, spending my money. Pat Matranga is a local kid who never considered himself much of a cowboy. He's been working for the rodeo for two weeks now and is finally getting comfortable with his new job. Put my quarters in the slot. I just have to actually do my job now. <laughs> The Cody Knight Rodeo, 8.30 tonight and every night all summer long, the Cody Knight Rodeo features professional cowboys and cowgirls duking it out to make their living. 
Come on down and see the calf roping, the team roping, the saddle bronc riding, the bareback riding, the bulldog. Free pass. How y'all doing? Going to rodeo tonight? Here, take one of these. Yeah, we'll see you later. You wanna go for a bus ride? Good. Let's go! Tony Martolio normally does a clown act for the rodeo, but with the rain and the financial problems, even he's pitching in to bring more attention to the rodeo and try to bring in more people. We just pick him up, we charge him two bucks and bring him to the rodeo and take him back. They love it. They kind of shit or freak out when I uh, pull up with my clown makeup on. Tony has two families, the rodeo and three kids from a former marriage. His kids are spending the summer at the rodeo because Tony doesn't want to have to choose between the two. It's a family affair, old rodeo. <laughs> how you doing? Good, how about you? Yeah, I don't know. Kind of scary. You know, I don't know if I want to ride right on this or not with a clown driving. Everybody sit down and put your seatbelts on. You don't mind if I just sit down? turn's pretty sharp. We don't make it every time. <laughs> Take that short <laughs> The rodeo's back in business, and a new star shows up in Cody. Yeah, I'm pretty cocky as it comes. You need to edit that. And Tony schemes up an outrageous new act that has all of us running for cover. Don't even think about it. Amanda, we need your help. Amanda. Oh, no, 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 no. So this is your bull for tonight, Papa? He bucks pretty good. He didn't buck at all then. Hope I get by him. Justin, you sure he goes to the right? Yeah. Bubba Harris is a 43-year-old veteran bull rider. Bubba competed on the pro circuit for over 26 years, and although he was never one of the big names, he was successful enough to make a living and keep going. So what are you right now, Bubba? In a national pro tour, ninth. Ninth, wow. in, in the world. That's Canada and the United States. Bubba is pretty much single-mindedly focused on one goal right now, and that's to make it to the National Old Timers Finals in Reno. And, they, the, and, and that association is not going to take but the top 12. And you got you to be in the top 12 to go to Reno. Hopefully I get there. <laughs> I hope so. I think Bubba is just now facing the fact that he only has a few months left in his career and he's wondering what he can do next when rodeo is the only thing he's ever known. It's my pleasure to welcome you on behalf of the Army Rodeo County to the Coney Island Rodeo. Excuse me, are you John Silva? Yes, ma'am, I am. Hi, my name is Laura. Nice to meet you, Laura. I'm with the CBS crew. Pleasure to meet you. So I know that someone just talked to you about yeah. what happened to me. Yeah. <laughs> John Silva is a resident of Cody, and he's a familiar face at the rodeo. Everybody knows who John Silva is. Well, what drew you to uh, riding? Oh, I just, I don't know. Got a bug up my butt one day and decided to crawl on one, and I liked it, I guess. It's pretty addicting. All this is, this is all pretty addicting. It don't take long to get the bug and want to keep going. But, oh. I don't know, it's a living. Might not make a lot of money, but you sure have a lot of fun. You know anybody I can borrow like a bra and a pair of panties off of, and I'll be a man. Do you have any bras and panties in your truck? The other night, Tony found himself just before showtime without an act, and he was forced to improvise. Where can we find a pair of panties and a bra? Amanda? Don't even think about it. Amanda, we need your help. <laughs> Amanda, oh, no, 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 come here, we need your help, I swear to God. Tony definitely explored every possible avenue in his search for props. My what? Bra and panties. 
to do an act. You need to borrow what? Your bra. No, wait a minute. If Amanda would give me her bra and panties, I could do an act. You would. You'd give us your bra and panties. I had some. He would. <laughs> John Silva's main sport in the rodeo is deer wrestling, also known as bulldogging. John Silva next to go. John Silva backs his horse into the corner of that box. He's down. Now he slides. He goes for that nose in. There you have it. Can't wait till in the morning, I just get better then too. <laughs> it's just that I'm not getting, what do you mean? I'm, so you, you didn't even rate, take your right arm out. You just, right when you well, got I'm down. I'm keeping it about like this. Not even that, you had it right here. I mean, it, your elbow was right next to your body. John Silva is definitely one of the rising stars of the rodeo, but he's still sort of like one of the guys. And I think the other cowboys really look up to him for advice. Was I clean? Yeah, he was good at the very. Damn it. I don't ever try to go to a rodeo to try to win money. It just messes me up. But, I mean, every time you win a check, it always boosts your confidence a little bit. Not that you needed a lot of confidence to do the first Yeah, time. I'm pretty cocky as it comes. <laughs> You need to edit that. <laughs> try, 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 Bubba, ride hard. Bubba's trying to show us that he's still got what it takes. So are you, are you, do you ride the circuit? Yeah. How, how long have you been doing it? 26 years. Is this, are you like the Tiger Woods of rodeo? Yeah. <laughs> One night, some tourists got back to where the cowboys hang out and started talking to Bubba. Is there, is there as much money to be made in uh, professional rodeo as there is in professional golf? Although the Cody Night Rodeo is mainly a tourist attraction, the cowboys and the tourists rarely meet. And I think that Bubba felt a little vulnerable outside of what he considers to be his secure rodeo family. Now, you've been riding for 26 years. Are you famous? No. Well, do, do you have a wife? Did you? Did. It's not do you, it's did you. Did, did you? Yeah. Are you ready? Oh, 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 yeah. They were thinking about starting a sumo rodeo event. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, 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 yeah we're mud wrestling with, mud wrestle with the bull. Yeah, you think right. people pay to, pay to watch us out there? All right, here go the, here go the kids. Yeah. If, okay, we'll watch it. All right, got both of them. <laughs> you got to get away from that. <laughs> These tourists were just having fun, but they really picked the wrong cowboy to joke with. Somebody hide me. <laughs> These guys ended up inadvertently making fun of Bubba's whole life. I just think they're tourists. You know what I mean? They don't know what rodeo's about. Come live the life. Are you famous? No, I'm not famous. I rode with the best of them in the 70s and 80s and early 90s and, and beat them all. I just want, I just like to go to the National Old Timers. Is what my goal is this year. Come over here and get us to practice. Ride with the ride with the boys. It's just, I beat him, I beat him, I thought down, I down. Where's that herd cowboy at? What do you mean there's no herd cowboy out here? Look around your arena. Do you see any herd cowboys out there? Well, if you don't have an emergency, we're going to leave. And don't you call us, we'll call you. As the clown at the rodeo, it's one of Tony's jobs to put on a comedy routine. The clown act is an event in itself, and Tony's act is considered one of the best, or at least one of the loudest in the business. Call the fire department. We need the fire department no, right now, man. Oh my right? God. Oh. Not on Tony, the fire. <laughs> Unlike most of the cowboys at the Cody Night Rodeo, Bubba is no amateur, but he's come to Cody to try and regain some of the confidence he had when he was in his prime. Try, 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 Bubba, ride hard. Bull riders weigh about 130, 40 pounds. The bulls are getting on weight anywhere from 1,500 to 2,000 pounds. Some bulls weigh even more. See this, Bubba, Derek. Get out, get out, get out. Yeah.
before he let go and jump. Not only do cowboys have to hold on for eight seconds, they're also judged for technique. 71. 71 points from the Bubba, how did you do? 71 points is good enough to win in Cody, but Bubba knows that if he had been at a bigger pro rodeo, he would have walked away without winning anything. When the clown act needs a replacement, Tony brings in his son Josh. So are you excited? Now remember, I'm I nervous. Said there was one more. And John Silva seems ready as he prepares to ride Cody's most dangerous bronco, the legendary coal dust. Look out, coal dust. Here I come. What's going on today? I have to do, I have to clown tonight. You have to clown tonight? Yep, the other clown's gone. So we're practicing our act. You know what over emphasizing all your moves means? No. I mean, if you just, if you're normally taking a step, you, you really emphasize taking a step, okay? Okay. Let's go drive out in the arena. Josh hurt himself a week ago when he fell off his steer. So Tony's been trying to find other ways to keep Josh interested in the rodeo. And this seemed to be the perfect opportunity. Normally do. They can't see it that far back, so you really got to overemphasize everything. Where's he at? Where's he at? That's right. That's right. We need water. We need water right here. Boosh. And try to hit me from about here on down because my radio is up in here. Okay. Bang. I shoot. Hold that ladder. Sorry. <laughs> Tony's act includes a lot of explosives and a lot of little things right, that I Josh had one, to remember. Two, three, push. You hit him. And then as soon as it blows up, push him back down. And that time Jordan comes out, we get back in the car, and then you hold on and the rest is history. You wanna see this? Yeah. That's Tiffany, that was my daughter. How old is she now? 18, she's going to college. That was my ex-wife. That was some cows and horses that we had. She's pretty. Where'd you get this? A woman gave these albums to Bubba just recently, and he hasn't seen them since he divorced his wife 15 years ago. There was a trailer house out there and these two albums out there, and she said that she knew me, she brought them back to me. Now the only family Bubba has left are his fellow cowboys, and he's especially close to one cowboy, Justin Rutherford. She had dreadlocks? Yeah. Bubba and Justin are kind of crossing paths right now. Bubba is just at the end of his career, while Justin's career is just starting to take off. Bubba Harris, he's a, he's a good old guy. He, he's from the same neck of the woods I'm from. And uh, when I was 15, I come up here. But before then, I lived with Bubba. And, uh, and he, you know, he'd help me out riding bulls and whatnot. He just helped me out a bunch. That was your wife? Yeah. Pretty. The fact that Bubba showed his scrapbook to Justin really shows how much their relationship means to him. I was at your reception. Look at my jacket. It's leather. <laughs> John Silva danced extraordinary. Shakes his butt like Fred Astaire. John Silva is the undisputed crowd pleaser of steer wrestling in Cody. But this summer, he's challenging himself with a new event, saddle bronc riding. Now John has to ride coal dust today, and I'm really worried about him. This is John Silva? John Silva, right here. What's the horse's name? Coal dust. And what's the horse's reputation? Death. <laughs> Death before dishonor. Well, I'm going to go get scared. John Silva hasn't really ridden saddle bronks that much, and tonight he's riding a, a horse with an infamous reputation named Coal Dust. And I think he's a little worried about it. Me shaking in my shoes. Praying I don't get killed. You don't have any special superstitions that you do? Yeah, I never wear people? yellow. Why not? This is bad luck. Because yellow is for cowboys. No, a lot of cowboys they don't they won't wear yellow. Uh, Interesting. Never put a hat on a bed. Good crowd tonight. I'll live it. What's that? I said, it's a good crowd. They're kind of, you know, low key, but I'll liven them up here shortly. You all will. Huh? You all will. Right. We'll warm them right up. All the switches down. Yes. Don't touch. 
any of the switches right now. Okay. By yourself? No. Sir, are you excited? Now remember, I'm I nervous. Said there was one more bareback rider I'm to go. Too. You're nervous too? Mm -hmm. What are you going to be doing in the so con act? I'm now just going to stay out there. Yeah. Follow my brother. Do you remember all your instructions? Yeah, I'll probably remember them when I'm out there. When they happen. Do you feel any better about cold dust? No. Do you feel any better about cold dust? Do you feel any better about cold dust? No. It's getting closer, that means I'm twice as scared. Hey, when I'm scared, I'll say I'm scared. Any last words? Dear God, help. Yeah, look out, cold dust. Here I come. Next time on Eyewitness, John Silva faces cold dust, a Bronco with a big, bad attitude. Okay, let's go! When Josh steps into the spotlight, the results are explosive. Bubba and Justin, mentor and student, go head-to-head -to, -head to see who's the best cowboy. Yeah. Ah! Ah!